Sometimes when teachers are teaching, there's a need for them to expand on concepts. That is where OERB comes in. We're able to help the teacher to maybe better explain some of the science and math concepts and to expand the knowledge of students by using the OERB curricula. After I graduated with my doctorate, I worked as a teacher in the state of Oklahoma, also as a science department chairperson, curricula coordinator for science K through 12, and was selected to become a member of the charter faculty of the Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics. When teachers attend workshops in Oklahoma, I feel like a lot of times we go home disappointed because we're not able to use the curriculum. It didn't meet the needs of our classroom. We don't always have the materials we need to do the lessons that they've talked about or we have to purchase more. OERB is really unique in that you go to the workshop, you are educated on the curriculum, and then you should leave there feeling like you could go back and do it in your classroom right then and have all the materials that you need for as long as you want to do the program. The OERB curricula is developed by Oklahoma teachers for Oklahoma teachers. That's what makes us such an outstanding educational program. They know the needs that they have in the classroom. They know what equipment they don't have. They know what standards they need to meet. So I was able to help out in the process of developing curriculum for OERB. When we do that, we get a bunch of teachers together and we evaluate the lessons and try and add a lot of the Oklahoma academic standards. We also add a lot of writing components and give teachers the opportunity to use inquiry as well as STEM in their lessons. Once all of the teachers have been together, we all take it back to our classrooms and we implement it and we see what needs changed and then we come back together and we're just always constantly making revisions to the curriculum so that it's just good. It's just really good curriculum. The curriculum is set up so that we meet a lot of the standards for the state of Oklahoma and we're just a supplementary curriculum that can be used by the teacher when the teacher feels that they are able to use that. I love that OERB's curriculum has so many process skills and a lot of the things that we want kids to know all year long for science. Graphing, collecting data, making observations, and coming up with hypotheses. All of OERB's curriculum is aligned to the Oklahoma Academic Standards, which is one other way that we're able to teach what we need to teach to our kids. We have curricula that is in the language arts area, social studies area, but our main focus is on science and mathematics. Oklahoma being a rural state, we have a lot of connection to the oil and natural gas industry. That's what we pride ourselves on our activities. Even though we're teaching basic concepts of science and mathematics and how they're related to the oil and natural gas industry, but these concepts are in everyday life. There's not a lot of industries that are willing to give to the schools and to education and just having the math and the science equipment and curriculum is wonderful and it comes from the oil and natural gas industry. I just thank OERB every day because I know schools in Oklahoma are so very appreciative of this equipment and materials they get. I hear it every day from an administrator or a teacher. We're not able to give teachers the pay that they deserve, and we are having to ask our parents for a lot of the supplies we need for a classroom, like paper and just the things that should just be given to teachers to be able to do their job. That's why we want the teachers to have the equipment, to help the students in their learning process and help them become future citizens of Oklahoma that are productive and knowledgeable students, that can research a problem, that can do experimentation that can develop ideas and help to make Oklahoma a greater state.